Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on determining the coordinate of a point in the first quadrant. Now if we have a single value, we're able to see that value visually by using something called a number line. So temperature for example, I might have a number line with these values on it. And this could be a temperature in Celsius. And if I said it was say 2 degrees Celsius, then I can indicate my position on the number line. But sometimes we need to describe where things are in two dimensions. And this is two dimensions because I can not only go left and right, but I can go up and down. And therefore, in addition to our left-right number line, we have a second number line that goes up and down. And we can have this number line with the numbers going up like that. Now, this horizontal number line we call the x-axis and the vertical number line we call the y-axis. So we describe that as the y-axis. Each of these are axis. And notice that x comes alphabetically before y. So we go left-right first on the x-axis and then vertically up-down on the y-axis. So let's use some of these examples here. We want to find the coordinate of the point A. Now we first think about the sort of left-right number line. Starting from here, which is known as the origin, it's where we start, how far along this kind of left-right number line do we have to go, the x-axis? Well, can you see we have to travel one, two, three units to the right before we're at the correct left-right position. So we're directly under A at this point. So let's record that. We've got three, and then what about in the sort of up-down number line? So this is the y-axis. Can you see we have to go one up? So we've gone three units right, and then one unit up on the y-axis, so we put one there. And this is known as a coordinate, and we always put it in brackets like this. Let's do another example. We want the coordinates of the point B. So how far do we have to go across the x-axis? Well, can you see, starting from the origin, we have to go along 2 until we're directly under B there. So the first, so the x value of this coordinate is going to be 2. And then can you see, we have to go 4 up the y-axis, the up-down number line. So we're going to put a 4 here. Now a couple of harder ones, we've got C and D. How far do we have to go along the x-axis to get to C? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're going to put 5 here. But notice we don't have to go up the y-axis at all. So we go 0 units up, and therefore we're going to put a 0 there. And a very common student error is that they get those numbers the wrong way around. They'll say the coordinate of C as 0, 5, for example. And lastly, D. How far along do we have to go along the x-axis before we're directly under D? Well, we don't have to move at all, so that's going to be 0. But we do have to move up the y-axis, so we have to go up 6, and that's going to be this value here. So just remember the first value is how far you are along the x-axis, and the second value in the coordinate is how far you are along the y-axis. And remember that x comes alphabetically before y, and therefore your x value should come before your y value.